Well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us. We very much appreciate oh, it. Oh, glad to be here. Now, the, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, why did you get involved with the project? Well, officer health and safety is one of our top priorities at BJA, as it is uh, with the IACP. So when we realized together that there was so little information about the impact of officer injuries on police departments, it seemed like a no-brainer to really undertake a thorough examination of the issue. It's quite, uh, it's quite shocking, isn't it, that the sheer number of officer injuries that, uh, that aren't associated with some of the things that you would expect them to just, just pick officers in the line of duty, if you like, suffering injuries. It seems to be much bigger problem than many people would have thought. I agree with that. You know, we heard anecdotally from police departments and police officers who know the impact on everyone within the department when officers are out. Um, on an injury, and that it happens with such frequency in some departments. It seems like it's such an important area for us to focus on and work with departments um, to be able to track their injuries and the impact on their departments. So I know the, the, the pilot project, the study project has gone ahead and, 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 and that's been fantastic. What are some of the lessons do you think we've learned from that project? Well, the importance of tracking um, is you know the fact that it wasn't being done some places and that really we who support law enforcement haven't focused in on enabling departments to do it in a way that is easy for them um, are really important lessons because I think now through this report and through this work we have a system to be able to do that and move forward and assist departments in better um, examining the impact of the injuries. One of the great things about this conference is you have 15,000 people literally all over the world and one of the most important as aspects of that is to share best practice. So, so what are some of the toolkits, if you like, that people are going to be able to take away from the conference to enable them to, to start getting rolling on this in their own departments? Well, this is a huge area that we're focusing on. Part two of this project is really to provide new toolkits for departments to be able to use, uh, both for tracking and analyzing the data, but also looking at the findings of the report, um, which zeroed in on officers during the first five years on the force and the kinds of training that we need to do and focus on those officers. Officers that are overweight, another risk factor in this area that we can focus on. Um, so I think um, we will increasingly benefit from the information. We collected information from 18 departments this time, uh, thanks to the chiefs in those departments. Um, but we can collect data from many, many more, and it will be a rich data set for us to be able to use as we move forward. Well, Denise, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We really appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. And I want to thank the IACP for being able to bring together 18 different departments and get them so engaged in this project and the chiefs that really made it happen. So thank you. Thank you.